Hey guys, AKC MacDogs back again, and I found this awesome game called Realm of the Mad God. It's freaking awesome. You see this? This is Minecraft. No, it isn't. You know why? Because this is Realm of the Mad God, and I just re finished recording uh, my thing of um. Uh, Thing of the end zone, so I'll be playing a bit of Realm of the Mad God now. Uh, Fireband staff. Oh yeah. There we go. So I got a new staff, and that's basically what this game is about. It's basically just a little um, RPG in. Force wand. Oh god. And it's crazy. It's like some guy on crack just made it, and it's just amazing. It's like some guy didn't even know what he was making, but he made it. He did it. And I'm just racking up the points, killing everybody. So, well, not everybody. This is really easy stuff. So, Mad God Oryx. That's the main guy yet you're basically trained to kill. So, each game... Or each time you die, you start up a new character, right? And each time that you start up a new character, you lose every single stat, everything that you had in the original character. Which makes you even want to stay alive longer. But you always start with the normal character, um, the wizard. Well, that's whenever you restart the entire game. You get to choose classes, but it's all based on levels that you've got, or... Um, quest you've done, which means killing, like, this elf wizard, hobbit mage, I mean, over here. So, it really counts on how many you kill in the game. And that's all that really matters. You want to try and get higher classes, even though the wizard is just awesome. Well, that's my, uh, main idea. <clears throat> and it's really fast-paced, dude. If you're looking for something to do, then don't. Don't stop believing. Shift click. All right, you have to shift click to use those kind of items. Chain chainmail. I'll keep that bow just to sell, uh, because nobody else was around. So this is basically what my first character was about: just going around looting, kill, getting some XP from people. I'm still level one, but I'm about halfway through this. If you're wondering why I'm so excited, it's because this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I've only been playing it. Keep in mind for a little bit. Oh, take that saber. Flame burst spell. See? This is what it's all about. Just robe of the apprentice. It use a by bull by wizard and ring of vitality. So that'll give me three vitality. So I'll take it. And I still have saber. So nothing over there is still any use to me. So I will continue. Basically, all you have to do is just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Until you just... Uh, see, that's not usable by wizard, but it's a pretty high level thing. So, I'll take it, and then, yeah, you have a pretty high level thing, so when you return to the normal world... Well, I don't even know how currency works in this game. But the main idea is just to keep on working your levels up until... Well, here's a dungeon that I can enter. I'm probably going to die, but then I will be able to show you what this game really is awesome for. That's dump the Pirate King. See? I might actually have a shot at this one, because nobody else is down here. Right? Probably wrong, but I don't know. This, that's my guess. So basically, the idea is just to kill all of these guys until you get enough... XP to just level up until something actually respectable. I'll go, go kill Dead Stump the Pirate King once I loot this. <clears throat> you see how I'm running kind of low? I just accidentally moved the bandy cam screen. So I'm running kind of low. I don't, so, uh, I don't know why this is useful for, but probably just healing. And I'll heal myself a bit. It's spider venom, so it's not used for healing that thing. <clears throat> Damn. And it's so fast-paced. There's a little tutorial, but you don't need it. You just need to get in there. But you do actually need to finish it the first time. Um, see? Chainmail. Nothing. I'm losing a bit of health here. So, I need to do more strafing and just continue on like I have. Right? 
yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that's correct. Getting kills from everywhere. Today. Gotta get more XP, then I'll start working on this guy. I'll start working my way towards him. Somewhere over here, so my best guess would be a speed of... There he is, there he is. Alright. No! Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I did it wrong. So, what you're gonna want to do is just go to this. Um, realm of the... Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. But, this will just show you how to... I think it saves automatically. <laughs> or else I will be very angry. <coughs> Play. Here's my character. Alright, whatever. It didn't save it, but it gave me all the items. So, I'm back in here. How am I gonna sell this? I don't know. I don't know how to sell it. I don't know how to buy it. I don't know what to do. So, I'll just show you how to answer and turn different things. Once you've died, once you've got past the level, <coughs> it'll send you to a random one of these worlds. And if you go in one of these worlds, then you're automatically just going to find out that usually if you go in the higher ranked worlds, you're never going to get quest points. But if you go in the lower one, then you're sad. So, this one's pretty full. <coughs> I'm going to go with Ogre, alright? This one seems pretty respectable and let's start alright I just had to move the screen there there's the scorpion king queen but see there's just all these guys racking up the points so I don't really want to do it Rome with the apprentice is still on so I'm a higher level than these guys well not that guy he's pretty high level uh... Bo? It's, this game's amazing I'm sorry it just is so, I might actually be starting a series on this, guys. I'll record a bit more, then I will uh, probably take a break. You know? Like a bro. And then, yeah. Oh my god. Ever since I saw the WTF of this by Total Biscuit, I've been in love. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. This game is amazing. A Dirk, taking that. I don't know if that was important. Not usable by wizard, but I can sell it later on if I figure out how to. Um, what's this guy doing? It's a level one wizard. He might need some help. The more you go into the wilderness, the more I believe you level up. The more I believe, the harder the guys are. See, this guy isn't as good as me because I do have a better staff than him. <coughs> I guess you get money from just doing stuff. Stuff. Um, see, this is a fire braid staff and a health potion. I'll take the health potion for later. And I'll continue on my way. Oh, God. It's just so fast-paced that it's amazing. These guys did the best job by being trippy and making this game. See, there are just raids upon raids upon raids of just enemies that you must fight. This game is just... Alright, that one's better, I don't know. But, I'll wear it. I'm doing it! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! I'm in the pirate bay. <laughs> I'm the snake pit, guys. I'm the snake pit. <sighs> Put the dirk there. So, as you can see, I'm actually racking up quite a few points. I'm almost level 3. Uh, ch just jump more chain mail there. This game is amazing if you just play it for a little bit. You know. Um, I'm gonna drop out some crap that I don't need. <laughs> Um, Cloak of Darkness, I'll keep that, because I believe it's pretty good. Keep on killing, keep on killing. Uh, Goblin Mage, no, he's gone. See what I'm saying? They're gone in a matter of seconds, so all you can do is really just wait and hope that you're popular enough to get something. One second. I'm gonna go get these guys excited about something. 
recording.